ਘਰ ਵਰਗੀ ਮੋਜ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਆਟਰ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਆਫ 40 ইয়ার্স ওল্ড ফিমেল ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਫੀਵਰ ਵਿਦ ਰਾਈਗਰ ਐਂਡ ਔਨ ਅ ਯੂਰੀਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਸ਼ੋਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ 2+ ਐਂਡ ਪਸ ਫੀਲ ਫੁੱਲ ਵਿਦ ਡਬਲਿਊ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਬੀ ਸੀ ਇਸ 10 ਟੂ 15 ਪਰ ਹਾਈ ਪਾਵਰ ਫੀਲ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਡਾਇਬੀਟਿਕ and what we are seeing is the stigma of her uh, or the cause of her fever is this kidney but other both kidneys this being more involved than the uh, other one see that uh, this kidney is major 14.2 mm centimeters in length more than 11 is considered to be uh, enlarged in length and it measures 6.6 cm in anterior posterior diameter more than 5 is considered to be uh, to be an enlarged kidney and this is the most important diameter as this length varies with the geographical area conditions and the area from area to area uh, for a tall height the normal width maybe up to 12 anyways what are the uh, features that we are observing in this kidney is that uh, the parenchymal epigenicity of the kidney is diffusely raised uh, so decreased so you can see that uh, the parenchyma this is the parent cortex this is the cortex and these are the medulla and the medulla are prominent uh, prominent the, this is an arcuate vessel central sinus hypocomplex is rather muffled so the cortico medullary dif- differentiation is intact this is the cortex this is the cystic area is the medulla and <coughs> though the function of the kidney is presumably with the normal uh, sonographically whereas the parenchymal ecogenicity is diffusely decreased in this kidney now the other feature that you are seeing in this kidney is uh, minimal dilation of all the calyces from the upper fold to lower fold now you see that these are the calyces these are the calyces central sinus hypocomplex is not seen rather uh all the calyces are minimally decreased they uh, are dilated and you can see small amount of debris within these dilated calyces these are the pyramids the prominent pyramids no calculus is seen no focal lesion is seen and uh, the parenchymal thickness is normal however we do see the dilation of uh, uh, upper calyx uh, which this is the upper calyx bulging as is this measuring 3.5 by 3.6 cm here this is the urine this is the fluid and this area this cent- this ecogenic area is the debris or sludge within the cystic area or dilated calyx and uh, this can be either pus or uh, a bleed so this uh, this finding is very much consistent uh, with uh, keeping in view the history of the patient this is very much consistent with real tract infection or uti or pyelonephritis and or pyelonephritis similarly now let's move on to the right kidney you will notice that this kidney is relatively normal in size but other findings are the same almost same you can see that this kidney measures 
Eleven centimeters, well, normal in this dimension, and uh, 4.7 centimeter anterior posterior diameter, or 4.5 centimeter anterior posterior diameter, which is normal. This is the parenchyma, normal in thickness, diffuse, decreased echogenicity of the parenchyma, and minimal dilation of the calyces, prominence of the pyramids, these are the pyramids. No calculus is seen, the proximal ureter is not dilated, and uh, there is uh, no calculus seen. There is minimal dilation of all the calyces. This is a minimal dilation of the lower pole calyces. Now, what the normal kidney parenchymal echogenicity is? Now, this is a, not the ultra. This is the kidney of uh, my kidney. This is not patient's kidney. And I want to show you what if you when you compare with the normal kidney, you can see the central sinus echo complex, and you see the echogenicity of the kidney. And these are the pyramids. Uh, well, the echogenicity and brightness of the kidney is normal, slightly less than the liver. This is the liver. So this is my kidney. And uh, if you compare this kidney uh, with the patient's uh, the right kidney, you will find feel the difference between the two especially uh, relating to the parenchyma. See the parenchymal difference of my kidney and the parenchymal difference. This is a decreased parenchymal echogenicity. See the prominence of the pyramids, three pyramids of my kidney, no central sinus echo complex, minimal hydronephrosis. So this will help you in differentiating. This is uh, the case of the day. Thank you very much.